using a larger spread for this month because I wanted you to get a feel for what my private readings are like. So for those, obviously, I'd be answering a specific question you have, but I tend to use a larger spread when I do that, so I wanted to give you a feel for that. Please let me know if you'd like to in the comments or by email if you like the larger spread or if you prefer the smaller four card spread. Okay, so the card propped up on the right is from the bottom of the deck and it's going to be an underlying or overarching theme, something woven through this reading. It's a really beautiful energy for you. It is the pentacles energy, which is very much your element and it's about being yourself, really being this independent version of yourself, and I'm, I'm feeling like also standing your ground in some regard, and, and I'll come back to this card as well, but it feels like a beautiful energy for you. It's also a nine, so that's, that's fitting too. And with that independence theme, I do want to mention this bottom row first. I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles as you. And then this Eight of Wands being this movement or transition card and the Fool following that. So I feel like some of you, and this would only be some of you, may be facing a transition a or just the decision to make a transition towards something more independent. It could be independence from a relationship or independence from a work situation. So becoming single or doing something more independent work related. So that's just going to be for some of you. Looking at the, I'm seeing the emperor and the fool. Both cards can represent Aries. And generally speaking, I'm seeing a lot of fire in this reading. So we have those, those two cards that can represent Aries. Also these two wands cards. And then I'm picking up on a lot of fire, interestingly enough, from the Knight of Swords and the Chariot. I heard Chariot of Fire, although this is usually a water energy. It feels very fiery in this moment. I'm looking at the Knight of Swords also with that tower with the fire and the flame in the background. And the theme there is feeling like hastiness on someone's part. Um, feels like it can be someone else. I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. I want to look at the center row first. It feels like this five of wands, it's not feeling like a major conflict in this reading. It's, it's feeling more like that competitive side of this card, but even a mild version of that, it feels like competitiveness within yourself. It feels like there's a lot of, a lot of flames. It's like there's this influx of, of spiritual energy and it's, it's feeling like a little bit of juggling for you. So there's this spark and there's this, this inspiration and motivation, it feels like, to do some balancing in a couple of arenas. And it looks like those arenas are the emotional realm and then the physical realm. So I'm seeing that Six of Cups and then the Six of Pentacles. With the Six of Cups, it feels like you may be doing or needing to do some balancing in terms of something emotional, something um, possibly relationship related, it's something that you're looking at already, something you're working on. <clears throat> and then with the Six of Pentacles, some sort of balancing, it could, could very well just be financial, but it could be decision having to do with work or something else logistical. I'm even seeing it as a smaller version of the Justice card here. So I, I, do, I, I do feel some of that for this reading, more of that decision, maybe awaiting a decision, and of course balancing, and also maybe even something from the legal arena happening for you with this card. And for some of you, it could just be as simple as work and social life balance, but it feels like it's a challenge. You're being challenged to balance those things, and you know, it, I don't think it's coming up as like the, the two of pentacles type of juggling because it, it doesn't feel like a back and forth. It doesn't feel like this heavy weighted decision to go one way or the other. It just feels like there's energy there to do the balancing for both of these things, but that's a challenge that you're facing. 
and it's possibly because you have some decisions to make and are awaiting some decisions as well. <clears throat> I'm picking up on the Emperor as being very much about boundaries for this reading. I feel like you have set up some boundaries for yourself to do some of that processing on the emotional level with the Six of Cups energy. And it's interesting because this, I, I do feel like this Knight of Swords and then the Chariot is very much about speed as I mentioned before. So it feels like there's, there, there's um, some conflict there about maybe second guessing some boundaries that you've put up to wanting to be pulled in another direction at a high speed. The eight of wands also can be about speed as well. So it feels like it's kind of a warning for you and also just a theme that's coming up. I also feel that this knight of swords could be about a person. So it could be an air sign. It could just be someone who's cunning in a way in this case, I feel like that they are really encouraging some movement. So this could be something in the relationship realm. So as I mentioned, some of you may not necessarily be thinking of leaving one. I feel like that may be a theme for some of you Virgos. But for some of you, it feels like this may be a beginning. <clears throat> a beginning type of relationship energy. And it, again, it feels like this person is wanting to rush things possibly a little bit and that you're feeling a little torn on your decision because I do feel that you made the decision to put up some boundaries and that they feel really positive to me. I don't feel like you're blocking. I'm not seeing any of those negative swords cards or anything like that. I feel like you made a very rational decision in putting up some, some protection and boundaries around yourself to do some of this emotional work and it's possible that it has to do with a past relationship and it may not it may be about not being quite ready to move forward with something new while this other person could very well be wanting to move forward a little faster going back to that nine of pentacles i do feel that that is where that theme of standing your ground is coming in because it does feel like this was a really good decision for you to protect yourself in order to do some of this processing and, and await some of this balancing. And it's not just the, the Six of Cups, but also this, this Six of Pentacles. There's some things brewing for you right now, and I do feel that they need some time to process. And you're already feeling a little bit of chaos in regard to those things. So I feel the boundaries were a good call and that holding your ground is definitely a theme because there is that warning that you may get pulled in that direction. I feel like this person can be not necessarily manipulative. It may be like that for some of you, but it could just be like a smooth talker. He could have really good points or she um, about wanting to pull you in this other direction. It may not be about rushing into a relationship, it may be about trying to convince you of something or pull you in a, in a direction in some other regard. And they, they may have a good case for, for wanting to do this, but there's so much of this other stuff happening for you right now with, it feels like work. It, it does feel a little bit like because these two sixes are both about balancing and you're trying to balance them together, it feels like some work for you. I don't mean the type of um, serious inner work, although that is always helpful, but it's not a hermit card I'm picking up on. Just to explain again what I'm feeling with this Five of Wands, it doesn't feel like a serious conflict. It, it feels like there's a lot of fire happening for you. And it's a good energy, actually, in this case. I know a lot of readers, we always say that it's not the Five of Swords, which can be a little bit uh, more conflict. This is milder, and I just want to say that specifically for this reading, it feels feels even milder. It's, it's really feeling more like it's within you, and it's just about learning how to manage all the energy that is there, 
meant to be helpful for balancing these two arenas of your life that are going to be carrying different things for, for different viewers. But so the pentacle type of energy and the, the six of cups energy. So you have all that going on and again, rightfully put up some boundaries in a very fair way. It feels like, and then may also be facing this other decision. So even for those of you who may not be thinking of leaving or moving in a new direction in a relationship or related to work, this Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands facing the Fool could still very well be about deciding to make a transition that, that may feel like a leap of faith that, that that Fool card embodies. So it could be in relationship to whatever the Six of Pentacles topic is since it's coming up right below that. But it could also be in regard to something else. There could be like a third area of your life that you're looking at right now. It could also be spiritual with that being a leap of faith and then the Eight of Wands also being about spirituality, being a Wands card. <clears throat> so for some of you, that's going to be a third area where you're looking at something and really needing to needing some space. I'm also picking up on the, the Eight of Wands as just open space. So you getting space for yourself to face something and make a decision about which direction to take something. So just to go back to the Nine of Pentacles again, it, it feels like it's there mainly to, for, for something for you to embrace for this month, the energy of the card being so vibrant and confident and independent, hold on to that. And remember that your any decision you might've made to protect yourself or put up boundaries is justified and to hold on to that confidence. And then it being so close also to the chariot card, I feel like there's this reminder that, you know, you're the driver. And if you do feel pulled in this direction by this other person or rushed in any way, that even if you decide to go for that, that it's your choice because <clears throat> you're this independent, confident person and you're the driver. So ultimately it's, it's going to be your decision. So I would definitely encourage to hold on to as much confidence as possible in regard to that and if that's another person and then just in regard to everything happening with this reading for you for this month all of these different topics because there's really a lot going on there okay virgo so i'm going to stop this here again feel free to let me know if you like this spread thank you